Hey guys, and welcome to the Blue Corner. So, how about that YCS Mexico with the six samurai winning, and apparently they ruled that Shien and the Cherry Beast could negate the effect of Insector Hornet when it was equipped to a monster and he was trying to pop something. As far as I know, that's actually not legal, but. Oh, who knows if it's actually just been a misunderstanding all this time. If it's true, then that means Thought Ruler can also stop Hornet, and this means that. Well. I could actually play Dragoon against, against that deck and just sit behind Stardust and Thought Roller all day long. Anyway, so, what I'm going to be doing today though is giving you guys a deck profile. And it'll be an update to my Dark World deck that I've actually just been playing around with for the last month on at the site at Locals and on DN. And yeah, I have to say, Dark Worlds are very fun. They're combo-oriented, though. You need PC and PCB in your hand to do stuff, but when things get going, though, they're really amazing to be piloting. So, let's just get things going, shall we? Unfortunately, I still don't have tour guides or Zen mains or from Halo Raven, but at least the Ravens and the tour guide problem will be fixed in a couple months or May, uh, when that epic battle pack comes along. So, until then, I'll just stick with my somewhat budget version. There's one card in here that's really expensive, but that's about it. And you'll know what it is when you see it. So, Dark World lineup has not changed at all since last time, though. So I got my three Grappa, three Snow, three Brow, double Beige. I wanted to go to three, but I cut one out. Double Trans Archmean, turn one, pitch Snow, get a Gates from my hand, then just do Gates plays. Yeah. This guy puts some work and gets you back your move and play monsters onto the spells. Three drag down. This the spell lineup has changed uh, just a little bit. Three gates. Three upstart goblin. Now, the life point gain might be a bad thing, but it thins out your deck by one. I'm essentially running less cards in my deck. So this is three less cards, the dealings are also three less cards, the drag downs are three less cards, the reckless greed are three less th three less cards, yeah. The deck has a ton of draw power and you need it in order to get to your stuff faster and upstart is always a good card for that. Furthermore, the life point gain is essentially nullified because Grapha plus a field spell up eliminates all 3,000 life points with one big freaking swing. Triple dealings, and got a lore, card destruction, actually finally got this to go off, it was awesome, discarded two brow, got rid of my opponent's reborn Tengu in his hand, yeah. Dark hole, foolish burial, to put that Grapha in the turn, in the grave, turn one, and must reborn. As for the traps, three reckless greed, it's pretty funny how even with the lock of not being able to draw for two turns with Reckless Speed, I'm still able to get, like, through my deck by about two cards every turn. Yeah, this was just... It's just been really good. Change it to an MST, get a plus, change it to... Chain multiples of these to a Heavy Storm, get massive pluses. Reckless Greed is amazing in Dark Worlds. So is this, because you're ripping out so many cards from your opponent's hand. And you get to see their hand and next to your jaws. And it's why Mind Crush. Just pick stuff out. Or you can call random card name that nobody runs, such as. Well, I always like to say Gate Guardian. So, Dust Shoot. Dark Small! Pulled this recently, and I figured I'd put it in the deck for shits and giggles. If you do not have a Dark Smog, you can run some more offensive power, like a third beige or a morphing jar if you really want to, although, although most people do see that one coming. Or you can just simply take this out and this card out for other stuff. But yeah, I figure Dark Smog just acts as another discard outlet and return from a different dimension is just my idea for a secondary win condition, kind of like with Gem Knights. You're moving shit with, from your graveyard all the time, so during the late game Return from the Drift Dimension can make a gigantic push by just bringing out all those brows and those snows you removed, and you just either swing with them or overlay them to exceed monsters, or if you already got multiple graphics in the graveyard, bounce them all back. Yeah. 
that was just my idea. I never actually got this to go off, but I like the idea. I'll have to tell you. I'll tell you guys how it works out later on. But yeah, that's it for the Dark World deck. And how it is looking at this point. Hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, take care.